Um, it's an amazing place, you know, I feel like it's made for people like me to come in and grow over time. Um, obviously, it's awesome to be surrounded by great vets. Um, you see them on the court now, but to be surrounded by those guys who are giving me insight on how the system is, how practices and how to be a professional, like it's an amazing experience for me. It's like, okay. Any more wisdom that Al Horford has shared with you over the past few days? Not since media day. Um, I've, I've talked to him a couple times just about like college and stuff like that, just jokes, but no, no, he hasn't given me any more advice yet. Have you watched the Godfather yet? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> We were talking about that on the bench. I looked over, I was like, I haven't seen it yet. He was like, go watch it. So. What's it like to have Paul Pierce here, and have you connected with him at all yet? Oh, yeah, for sure. He's, um, when I come in and lift in the mornings, he's in there working out. So I got to talk to him. I you know, got to ask him about his rookie season, you know, how it was, like, what was his experience. Um, he's taught me a couple things. He showed me a couple things. Even one of my plays, I didn't shoot a wide open three. He's like, why didn't you shoot that? And I told him some, some excuse. And he was like, shoot it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> for sure. So have they developed nicknames for you, and have you developed nicknames for like Al? What do you call him? You don't call him Al. So. Um, they haven't given me a. Um, well, actually, my nickname is Rook. Um, I call I call Al either Big Al or Al. Um, everybody else is kind of like the generic, like JB, JZ. I call it DY, DY. Like, okay. The generic names. I haven't really come up with anything special yet. No OG, Unk. No, 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 no OG. That's ideas. Those are good ideas. The OG. I might use that. Uh, you come into the league with an expectation, like you dream about what the practices might be like, what the process might be like. After a few days, what's reality compared to what you might have been envisioning? Um, of course, I feel like whenever you envision you know, yourself being in the NBA, you imagine yourself being in the NBA at a point where you've already accomplished all the things you want to accomplish, or you've, you know, you're an all-star, you're a guy who's starting. Um, but it's way different for like a rookie or just coming in. Like You're going to have to buy your time, you're going to have to be professional, you're going to have to take it step by step. Um, because it's not it's not going to be given to you yet because you're a new guy and nobody really knows you. So just being able to, to take it step by step and not rush the process, like that's really important. And that's what I'm learning to do right now. Has Drew locked you up there? And what have you learned just being around some of the best like, defenders? Uh, yeah, Drew, I don't think he's guarding me yet. He may have guarded me one possession. Uh, it was like during the one dribble thing. Um, but just like how he controls the guy on offense, like with his, like controlling his hip and like how strong he is. Like Drew is so strong. Like, he's crazy strong so it's like hard to move him so he's always enforcing his will on people so I'm trying to get get that strength and then that mentality too. Are there certain things you're calling to teammates just by watching them or just even kind of have it or anything like that? Oh for sure yeah I watch I've watched JT do his like routine I watch Al do his routine um, I'm trying to kind of build my own routine obviously I haven't seen a game so I wouldn't know what it looks like before a game or after a game but I'm trying to build somewhat of routines that I can fall back on whether it's a good game or a bad game I always have a routine to fall back on to get myself back back even. Any of these scrimmages, are there kind of guys you're uh, working with consistently building chemistry with in terms of the lineup and stuff like that? Um, yeah, for the most part, um, I'm playing with like the 2A guys. Um, and so I'm kind of building that, that connection, I guess, with them. Uh, mostly because those are my teammates most of my time. Most of the time, those are my teammates. But you know, I'm also building a relationship with everybody in the, in the building, like even if it's staff. Um, trying to get everybody to, to feel like, you know, I'm a guy who wants to come in at work and who will, who will do the process the right way and be professional about it. So that's what I'm kind of striving for right now. When you're in college, you're really good at, like, hand checking and getting hands out of there so they can drop the foul. But obviously, the NBA is how a lot of guys make their money. So what are the coaches and players like so far that have that all um, it's just It's just about knowing, knowing what to do in, in what situation. Um, it's always about, you know, reading the situation, reading where the refs are, reading, like, who you're guarding, what situation it is, to know what, how much you can get away with. And like as we know, like Smart was really good at it. So just trying to pick up some things that maybe he left behind or things that Drew can teach me that I can pick up on it to add to myself and add to my career. So they want you to like pay attention to like, what angles the refs have so they know like, they can see you getting hands in there and stuff like that? Well, it's, it's just me wanting, me paying attention to stuff like that. It's just kind of like me just seeing it like, okay, well, Steve's refing today. Steve doesn't really call fouls. Let me get a little more physical, you know, stuff like that. Talk about Drew controlling your hip. Can you explain what that is? So it's basically when you're coming off of like any screen or setting a screen, just him always having his hand on your hip, controlling where you're going. Like he's always steering you. Um, he's always bumping you off your line, and so you can't. He's dictating what you're doing basically. So it's like he's in control at all times. So it's trying to. For me, it's hard to you know get where I want to with that happening. So I'm trying to manage to where like I'm not as strong as you, but how else can I get to where I want to go? 
without having to be out physically. Being in the gym every day with these guys who you've looked up to, is there anything that surprised you? Um, maybe like their personality off the court. Um, like JT, JT is pretty funny. JB is hilarious, and Al is pretty cool. So it's just you know when you see them on TV and stuff like that, it's always you know oh they're a basketball player. But then once you meet them and get to talk to them and spend time around them, it's like oh yeah they're cool people too. Like I love talking to them. They give me wisdom. Like they're great guys.